Alright. So what we're working on here is the uh, solar array for Perry's cabin. So we're gonna do some poles in the ground like we have right there. Perry's peeling them now. So Tyler and I dug the holes. We got five of them here, so got five trees to peel. And then we'll get them stood up and put the crossbars on them and that'll be what we mount the panels on here so hopefully they get a whole bunch of that so currently his panels are just leaned up against the side of the cabin right now but right now they're getting full sun but later on today as the sun gets higher then the eaves starts shading them so we're gonna get a rack built to put them on so that's what part of the clearing was done here for so anyway so he's back to peeling it's been a while since he peeled logs so it's good practice all right there's log number five there Tyler's just finishing up peeling that one like five of them to go in there and there's a pit for the hello everyone welcome back to the channel so we're working on Perry's solar today we worked on it yesterday we got the poles set we got uh, four of the panels on we got a lift coming tomorrow or we can get up there and put the other panels on and then trim off the top post so we got a little more uh, sealing to do on the poles down here using some uh, diesel fuel and tar. Um, normally we would have just burned them, but we got a burn ban on, so we're not allowed to do any burning right now. So I had to back up to the second plan. So <laughs> running wire today, so that's what we're doing now is putting a ditch in and um, or we can run the power wire from the panels into the cabin. So I've already got them into the cabin and up to the floor in there. So now what we're gonna do is get them hooked up out here and uh and we can go ahead and hook up these existing panels and then we'll have uh two more or four more panels up there tomorrow so that'll be eight panels total for perry and then we'll work on mine some tomorrow as well but anyway that's kind of where we're at right now that's what we're working on up around the solar panels and we uh, dozed all this off it's still got a lot of a lot of pieces of roots and stuff like that as you can just see them just laying everywhere so that's the little tractor is going in dragging the blade around and picking some of them up and, and uh, getting rid of some of that and kind of doing a little smoothing so that makes that look a little bit better so it gets it all cleaned up so yep tomorrow we'll uh have them other panels up there those are actually all hooked up right now we just kind of get to let the wires hanging behind them because we'll have to unhook them hook up the ones whenever we put the ones up on top but hopefully tomorrow we'll have all that done and all eight panels will be operational so that'll be handy kind of nice to have a little tractor going again too even though it's two-wheel drive it'll still do it still do a lot of work not much as it did but kind of like me and perry we can still do a lot of work but not as much as we did this is getting old, wearing out. All right, working on Perry's panels today. We got two of them. Or, yeah, I added two more this morning. We're getting ready to do the other two now. So we're ready to just, uh, lift here from a Willow Equipment Rental. So that's going to make things a lot easier and a lot safer than trying to do it from a ladder. So anyway, that's where we're at. We're getting ready to put up the last two here. All four panels are up now. Holes are cut off at the top. Got them out of the way. Now we're on the back side doing the wiring. 
and then after that you can finish painting the poles with the tar and diesel all the way up to the bottom there so it just looks uniform so you see there's quite a bit of wiring to do on the back side but the white pipe there is where we went down and buried them going to the house so it's coming along Tyler's got to make up a couple of couple ends here for extension wires. So, going back up on the lift. All right, this is an up high shot from off the lift. So, and Tyler don't like it. Said it's high enough. <laughs> so that's the up high view from Perry's cabin. Alright, I'm working on my panels today. And we got all four panels put up. Still got a little bit of wiring yet to do. Like we're about to wind that up up there all we got left to do now is you know run the pipe and get it inside the cabin so I think Tyler's getting her tidied up up there it's pretty awesome all right this is the up high version of Tyler's place you can see uh Perry's place up there through the woods Could uh, see the mountains a little bit better. Kind of see the top edge of them back there, but it's so cloudy you can't really see a whole lot. But you can see my place back up here, back side of my solar panels. You can see all the ground clearing down here that we've done recently. See Perry down there waiting on us to get there. This is the uh, up high view of my place. And you can see Tyler's and Perry's back there in the back. That kind of puts it into perspective for sometimes people ask how far apart our cabins are, all that. So we're on 10 acres here, so couldn't be too ungodly far apart, but probably roughly about 400 feet apart, I'd say. So anyway, that kind of lets you uh, see a little bit about where we're at. You can see my solar system tyler solar system can't see, can't see, can't see perry's from here so that's Solver where we're at tiny. yeah it does you can see our big pile of wood sitting back there too that's a that's a big pile right there it's probably five cords five cords yeah and that pile right there that's a pile back there that's probably two yeah. in it you see one back there with the tarp over it um right back in here there it is that one's probably got you know, a cord and a half in that one probably. So, so then you can also see um, another small batch right in, right in there. We've got to get all that in the woodshed yet. So anyway, that's where we're at. And that's our little gas cabin right there. All right, well, I forgot to video this while we were doing this. Taking these panels down, if you remember, there was 
two panels hanging up on the front of my cabin there. And uh, we took those off today and relocated them. Back here on the other end of my Connex. And <clears throat> the reason we've done that is the morning sun is pretty intense sometimes. So there they are there. So that gives me some morning sun now. I'll got to cut some trees down here and uh, and that'll give us, should give me a lot better solar power than I had. Thanks for watching everybody. So I guess the only thing left to do now is uh, I gotta bury my pipe that runs from there over to the cabin. Have that done and uh, give you a quick peek inside at what the uh, charging system looks like on the wall. So, got a part of the junk underneath it there. It's where I store some shit. So, that's a charger inverter. And the, the uh, generator recharges the batteries when you're having to do that. And then, here's the uh, here's the other items. This is a 100 amp charge controller. It's hooked up to the four big panels, which makes a thousand watts. And then, this is a small controller that I've had for a long time that's hooked to the two that was up on the front porch uh, that are now on the back of the Connex and that's a 30 amp charge controller so and that's connected to two 310 watt panels so gives me a total of 1600 watts of panels which sounds like a lot but like today isn't making anything hardly so anyway that's what the uh, that's what my solar system looks like thanks for watching everybody